Hi, Alfred Brock here, and today we're going to be talking about vaporizing alcohol. What is vaporizing alcohol? What is vaping alcohol? Why would anybody do that? Do people think that's dope or cool? I don't know. But it certainly makes alcohol more dangerous. It's very deadly, very deadly combination. Now, even more dangerous lurk. Reading out of the booklet here. The rapid and intense intoxication that comes from inhaling alcohol vapors carries a greater risk for addiction to alcohol so you can become an alcoholic in a short amount of time. And dependence. You could become a heavy user of alcohol in a very short amount of time by doing this. That means you can't do without it. That means you have to buy more. This delivery method is similar to drugs used like cocaine and methamphetamine as users get instant gratification, or instant effect we should say, instant effect. The buzz that comes with vaporizing alcohol is short-lived, short-lived, causing users to inhale more and more vapors to maintain that feeling that they've, occur they've uh, had. Alcohol is an addictive substance all by itself. It's dangerous, it's not good for you. Using it from time to time in a responsible manner during meals or for whatever other reason, that's okay. But using it a lot leads to alcoholism and a lot of problems, physical, mental, and social. Alcohol is an addictive substance all by itself, but when it causes such instantaneous yet brief effects, it's that much more r risky to get tied up with it. There are also numerous long-term consequences to consider with vaping alcohol. While this method of delivery may spare your liver, spare your liver, the alcohol still affects the rest of your body. Excessive alcohol consumption may lead to dementia, stroke, psychiatric problems, cardiovascular diseases, and cancer. They don't tell you that in the beer ads, right? Repeatedly inhaling these vapors may also cause serious respiratory issues. Putting the alcohol in there is very dangerous for your lungs. Wide-ranging personal problems. You've heard a lot about this. Maybe you've seen it in friends or family members. Some people hide it really well, but they're bad. Wide-ranging personal problems associated with vaping alcohol and alcohol in general include relationship issues, domestic violence, difficulties in school and work. Looking for advancement? Alcohol is not going to help you do that. Frequently developed. All these frequently develop as well because of excessive alcohol consumption, vaporized or otherwise. There's a lot of myths about it. Vaporing alcohols rise in popularity in modern America <laughs> is due in part to several myths that surround the practice. Many people believe that by inhaling alcohol, they are avoiding the calories that come with alcoholic beverages. Oh, you can stay slim, still get smashed, experience relationship issues, domestic violence, and difficulties in school at work, uh, all by vaporizing, and you don't get those extra added calories. However, ethanol, the active ingredient in alcohol, has calories and they are still absorbed by the body when inhaled. So you're not going to slim down or stay slim by inhaling this stuff. If you're under, under 21, don't drink or absorb the alcohol unless it's medically prescribed. You know, like for cleaning a scrape or a bruise or something like that. Don't do it. It's against the law. Why? Because your body's still developing. Why? To adults who are already past this, the children shouldn't have it and the young folks shouldn't have it because their minds and bodies are still developing and alcohol impedes that. Past thoughts about partying and everything and going to college and going to a party school and that alcohol consumption is okay after classes have ended, that's all over. That's all over. No matter what you see in the music videos or movies today, it's all over doesn't make sense and it is cruel and intimidating to encourage that because all that's happening is that's being forced on the next generation and that just ain't right those under 21 uh, might be tempted to try smoking alcohol smoking it 
which is vaping, because they believe that it's legal. Well, consuming alcohol in any form is still illegal if you're not 21 or over. Whether you're drinking it, vaping it, pouring it in your body, sticking it up your nose, it's illegal. Don't do it. Vaporizing alcohol has been touted as a way to experience the effects of alcohol without the hangover. Oh, wow. Many users report experiencing hangover-like symptoms, right? So they get hangovers. Uh, they include nausea, headaches, lightheadedness, and dizziness. I don't know what you're supposed to do to get over um, uh, vaping alcohol hangovers. Maybe vaporizing tomato juice and Tabasco sauce together, right? Some people will get that. You know, don't do it. You're going to get sick. Excessive alcohol consumption may lead to neurologic problems, cardiovascular diseases, and cancer. See, it says it right here in the bottom. This is some serious stuff. It's not kidding. It's science. It is life. There's also a belief that inhaling alcohol vapors, it's easier to hide your drinking from others. No, it's not. This is also untrue. Just like with drinking alcohol, your breath will smell of it and your body will smell of it. Your body will exude it. You will have a sweetly sickening scent about you. True fact. Your breath will smell of it and your motor skills and thought processes will be impaired. After all, that's why people use alcohol, isn't it? Or are they supposed to be having fun? See, the perception of what you're doing when you're drinking alcohol is quite different from what actually occurs. Finally, there's the myth that breathing alcohol vapors does not affect your blood alcohol concentration, essentially making it safe to drink and drive. Not true. Again, this is not true. Alcohol still enters your bloodstream. Your blood alcohol concentrate, concentration reflects it, and you become unable to safely operate a motor vehicle, heavy machinery, or any machinery. You don't want to be hang, working with someone that has been vaping alcohol. It is not a working or workable situation. Just like somebody's been tanking it up all day, and drinking alcohol, same thing. Help yourself and others. If you've already exposed yourself to the dangers of vaporizing alcohol, whether through your own actions or it was introduced for you and somebody told you it was great and good, whatever, um, now is the time to stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. Okay, good idea. And if you're finding it difficult to quit, don't be afraid to ask for help because that is, if you're finding it difficult to stop doing this or drinking in general, that's alcoholism. That is a disease. Your body has been impacted. It's time for you to take the healthy steps towards getting that corrected. Both through your mind, your body, and your social relationships. That's to the other people that you love and like in your life and would like to keep in your life healthy, safe, and sound. Okay? Uh, support groups are available in many communities, and there are online resources that can uh, provide assistance to you. I'm reading from one right now, <clears throat> and we'll find out where it came from in just a few minutes. You, if you've done it already, or you know someone who has, you can also be a valuable asset to friends or family members who become addicted to smoke and alcohol, to doing this, right? Urge them to get help. Tell them to stop. Assist with finding resources. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Listen to what they have to say and provide as much support as possible. This is a very positive opportunity to work with folks that are suffering from alcohol addiction, from suffering from alcoholism, the disease. Addiction is a painful and trying process for all involved, but with time and dedication, the cycle can be broken. Broken not only temporarily, but broken permanently. And we're talking about life, health, and just real good times. Good times that last, good times that are valuable can be recalled okay and don't hurt others now protect yourself don't let all the flashy adjectives surrounding this practice fool you is that flashy or what it looks like a bicycle pump doesn't it i think that it is oh my goodness that's real flashy right don't let all the flashy adjectives surrounding this practice fool you the people who do this the people who sell us equipment and the people they, they have a, a lingo of their own, and same for a, all of the drug, drug lingo. It's looking cool, it's, it's got it actually a separate lingo with logic that can't be removed from it. You have to be practicing that, you need to believe in that. It's kind of like a really, it's like a cult religion. You have to believe in it to understand it. Um, well, you can understand it, 
but you need to believe in it in order to repeat it it leads you to performing this action that's all it's good for it's like average it's like an advertising it's like advertising for a cult in your deeply in your mind it's really creepy okay uh, it may be a new way to consume alcohol but terms like revolutionary and trendy just sugar-coated activity that can have dire consequences right like huffing this is like huffing oven cleaner why would anybody do that because someone <coughs> used language to encourage others to do it it's just a that that's just horrible the best way to bypass the risks that come with smoking alcohol is to avoid it altogether why do it if you want to have a little alcohol a little wine at dinner or whatever a little beer one beer one beer a day as my, my mom used to say one beer a day right or a, a little whiskey on occasion, not in large amounts, something like that. That that may be okay, but uh, just avoid this. You know, there's no reason. There's no reason to do this. <laughs> Why would you want to do it? Do it quicker. Do it better. That's not possible, right? You can get stoned. Or you can get drunk easier, quicker, but it's not good. Uh, do your body a favor. Don't believe the hype about vaping alcohol. It's just smoke and mirrors, literally. You don't want to walk into a mirror now. Let's take a look. It's an unfashionable risk. What do you what do you have an opportunity to harm here? Let's take a look at a photograph. Those are lungs being depicted. Not only lungs, but your brain and your uh, heart. So, an unfashionable risk. There's always been some new trend with alcohol as people seek out novel ways to get drunk. Remember people making jello with vodka and then end up um, uh, making very sick people people getting very sick and some children and adults dying from it yeah well that's what happens I think it's cool right whatever <laughs> there always seems to be some new, some new trend with alcohol as people seek out novel ways to get drunk vaping alcohol first came into popular popularity around 2004 when vaping occur when vaping showed up right vape everything let's see what we can vape and unfortunately the trend has returned it's also known as smoking alcohol. Now it's called smoking alcohol. Same thing, same old thing. Makes you sick. This dangerous practice is frequently attempted using a plastic bottle, a cork, and a bicycle pump. Ooh, we did see the bicycle pump photograph, right? When the pressure inside a sealed bottle of alcohol changes rapidly, the alcohol immediately turns to vapor, and that vapor can then be inhaled. Alcoholic vapors can also be created by heating alcohol or by pouring alcohol over dry ice. Oh, okay. When you drink alcohol, the stomach and intestines process it and releasing it into the bloodstream. <coughs> Excuse me. The liver then metabolizes most of the alcohol. The time between consumption of the first drink and the peak of blood alcohol concentration is approximately 30 to 45 minutes. And a lot of people make a mistake by drinking quickly and drinking a lot, and now they're raging drunk. Well, Vaporizing alcohol hastens these effects for everyone. Anyone that does it can become raging drunk in a very short amount of time. The alcohol enters the system through the mucous membrane of lungs where it then travels to the brain and bloodstream immediately. <laughs> Intoxication can happen almost instantaneously and alcohol poisoning becomes a very real <coughs> and scary op uh, uh, possibility. At the first ingestion of it, the first time, alcohol poisoning, hospital, emergency room, but worse, as time goes on, the second, it's like, it's like, uh, it's not like Russian roulette because the house always has the, the, the winnings in, in, in gambling. And in this case, eventually alcohol poisoning can occur, right? and is always a danger every time this is done every time and think of all the costs associated with going to the emergency room for alcohol what would you do i was vaping alcohol they never say what they were doing but you know sometimes oh yes we were we were vaporizing alcohol using a bicycle pump we were having a very nice party and we were eating crackers and vaporizing alcohol with a bicycle pump okay um and then my friend got alcohol poisoning and he, he's like dying so we had to bring him to the emergency room right can you see that sort of conversation occurring? I can. Uh, the inhaled alcohol vapor that enters the bloodstream is far more potent than that which enters the system through drinking. <coughs> it's also difficult to gauge how much 
alcohol you have consumed by vaporizing. And when you eliminate the stomach from the process, you're cutting out one of the body's key defenses against alcohol poisoning, which is vomiting. So when this occurs and the process begins for alcohol poisoning, you can't stem it or reverse it by puking, by vomiting, because the blood alcohol is already in your body. The effect of the poisoning has occurred and is occurring at that time. It's emergency room time. Woo! Inhaling alcohol vapors negatively impacts the mouth, navel passages, and lungs, right? That's your voice. It's your ability to breathe and move around normally and have fun and other activities that don't involve this alcohol. The vapors dry out these sensitive areas, creating a greater risk for infection, and the fumes may irritate the lungs, leading to wheezing. <laughs> I can't do it or I'm going to cough again. When used with dry ice, the fumes may damage the lining of the lungs. Can you imagine someone uh, inhaling dry ice? In any case, <coughs> this brochure comes to us courtesy of the Detroit Wayne Mental Health Authority. Love those guys. Now, this is in Southeast Michigan, but you can go to their website and learn more about this problem and more, learn more about this if you're a, a, a younger or you're a parent and you're worried about it. And you can also check out SAMHCA.gov uh, online. Take a look at the CDC too. Just look up vaporizing alcohol, vaping alcohol. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Stay happy, stay healthy.